<laughs> Let's see if my opponent can beat this. Let's see what he ends up doing. Uh, yeah. The ultimate 10 negate combo guy with pendulums. If you know nothing about pendulum, if you walk into this video, you're like, Triff, what's a pendulum? What the hell? Oh my God. Listen, I want to show you right here, right now, how to pen summon, how to put 10 negates on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel right here, right now. Let's go. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about pendulum summoning forever. Rule number one, God, hit the gym. Rule number two, smash the subscribe button. Now, no matter what you're doing, 50% of you aren't subscribed. You smash that button now before we continue. Then you click the like button while you're there. All right, now we can continue. Now I'm going to show you guys how to pen summon, how to put up 10 negates right here, right now. Let's go. This video will show you everything you need to know about pendulums and how to combo with them properly. So whether you're a beginner, an intermediate, or a pen demigod in your own right, watch this video and you'll learn exactly everything you need to know. First things first, this is very simple. The strategy of pendulum is you need a strategy. Well, first you need a good deck list, which is the one I have, the best deck list, which I'll show at the end of the video. But what you need is cards that hold spell counters, cards like Magical Abductor, and Magister of, Ende Magister of Endymion is pretty ass. It's not really a starter. But cards like Magical Abductor or Servant of Endymion, those are the cards you want to see. And you want to see as many draw cards as possible in your deck to actually draw them and get as much value off them as possible. We're gonna, you're going to see now why Abductor is so powerful as well. Infinitely more powerful than Cerberus. Uh, what Abductor ends up doing is it searches anything you want at any given time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to save the Abductor because I'm going to big brain and I'm going to search later. I already have access to Servant and Magister. So Abductor is basically my low scale after I resolve Servant. I have all the ways to low scale. So all of the game plan is now is once you put the card in the scale that holds spell counters, I just activate every spell in the game. And you play so many spells that you're just going to be activating green cards all turn long. So you go blue boy there to cert to basically get a free pot of greed, but not just a pot of greed, but also two spell counters in your cards. That means Magister's at five, Servant's at three. The game plan just activate as many spells as humanly possible until you're able to trigger all your cards now i'm gonna go for servant and abduct a lot of people go for jackal right after servant there's no need to this is a little pendulum trick you're gonna learn here instead of going for jackal you go for abductor because it'll get to jackal anyways but it gives you a free magician souls and magician souls with chicken game is absurd so abductor instantly comes with one counter so all i have to do is activate two more two more spells so that's why Abdu an abductor again is going to come in clutch because you can activate a free spell activate into the void to be another spell now we got three spells. Sadly, we literally drew it into the souls. That draw was for nothing. So we just lost that draw for nothing. Doesn't matter though. So now we're going to go soul to send the jackal, which will eventually come out with Selene. But all we're doing now is just simply re resolving our cards. We're going to use souls here to draw two because we already used the mastery and the chicken game. Draw two cards that are useless and then always go into Electromite. The reason why you go into Electromite is that we're able to get free uh, value. And Astrograph will be able to pop this uh, uh, abductor to search another abductor if we want to. So we're going to use Magister here to special abductor. Uh, the only reason we're doing this is that we want to trigger this abductor as quick as possible. Also, we want to get more Mighty Masters in rotation. So we're going to use our Electromite. We're going to pop the Mighty Master to get the Astrograph. And then summon the Astrograph to get another, another Mighty Master. Now, if you look at how many cards we're going to have in our hand, we have literally five cards in our hand and a whole... A field we didn't even pen summon yet this is the beauty of playing endymion and cards like abductor where now when you're going second your opponent's gonna have to deal with all these cards and not just a pen summon which is what is like an ugly way to play pendulums is oh i'll just pen summon and i'll just call it a day no the best way to do it is to have all of them as extenders so now what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna just continually add, activate more spells we're gonna add abductor we have six cards in hand dude full field six cards and didn't pen summon yet now we're gonna go into selene and there's a few options we, we have here i'm gonna opt to go selene to remove the counter to special jackal I'm then going to scale Mighty Master. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to pop. I'm going to use Mighty Master Effect to summon right away. And I'm going to put my own Magister back in the scale. Magister and Servant both have secret effects that if they get destroyed by Battle or Effect, you can put them in the scale. So I do this just so I could get free scales. And what I'm going to do now is do something that a lot of people don't realize, but it's so important, is Vortex Cross Sheet plays. So because Odd Eyes, Vortex Dragon's a fusion, you're able to turn the Selene. Selene is not once per turn. So you're basically going to loop Selene multiple times. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two level sevens. I do this, but I put Mighty Master. I use Mighty Master scale effect before my pendulum summon in order to make sure I get a vortex before the pen summon. So uh, now I have a jackal and a vortex. So even if my opponent has Nibiru Imperm, Nibiru Valor, I'm going to negate both. And I didn't even pen summon yet, by the way. So because Absolute Dragon will trigger in the graveyard when Cross Sheep's in the field to bring a vortex, Cross Sheep will then trigger because the fusion is special summon to bring up Blue Boy. Now we're going to loop Selene to go make Selene. We're going to use Selene's effect now to summon out uh, Mighty Master from my graveyard. Now we have so many options to do here 
We can go Apoloza. We go Apoloza for four. Like in the sides, go Apoloza for four. You don't Apoloza for four every time. But now we're going to pen summon. The reason why we do that, you want to free up the zones. By doing Apoloza for four, you could pen summon everything. So we Jackal, pen summon, triple Mighty Master. Ending on a board of nine negates here and talents as well. So even if my opponent hand trapped at any time, nothing really affect it. If you had Nibiru Imperm, we stopped him. Ash did nothing. Baylor did nothing. Imperm did nothing. D Shifter would have stopped uh, half the negates. We still have Triple Mighty Master and Jackal and like Electromite Plusing, so even through D Shifter. Uh, Droll, of course, would enter, but no one plays Droll, so it's all good. And yeah, ending on nine negates with four cards in hand and full scales. This deck's absurd, bro. <laughs> it's insane. And I know you're going to say, oh, Dark Ruler, bro. No one plays that shit. So shut the heck up. <laughs> Let's see if my opponent can beat this. Let's see what he ends up doing. Uh, yeah, my heart skipped a beat when I saw Inspector Border. But guess what? That's three negates I can still use. I have Vortex, I have Apoloza, and I have my own Pendulum. So my opponent's cooked. <laughs> Throwing Twister? Sure, buddy. No problem. Two cards left. I have a thousand negates left. You literally can't do anything. Uh, duality? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to let that resolve? I have five negates, six negates left. Can't do anything. And I'm going to show you guys the deck list. This is the deck list. And the idea of the deck is to really utilize Servant of Endymion and Magical Abductor. Now, I have a full-fledged, in-depth analysis of this deck on my YouTube channel. You can go check out the full in-depth analysis where I just discuss all the card choices, why we're playing Sky Circuit Mobilize Engage, why we're playing Enemy Controller. Ah, actually, I didn't discuss Enemy Controller yet for that build, but we, the reason why we play Talents, Widow, Engage, and Enemy Controller is it gives you seven defensive cards, and seven defensive cards in a 42-card deck. It seems like, oh, yeah, maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't. But because we're not really playing a 42 card deck, there's about 20 draw cards. So you're actually playing a 22 card deck with seven defensive cards. So it feels like you're playing 15 defensive cards in a typical 40 card deck. The draw power in this deck is so absurd. Like, look, triple upstart, triple into the void, searchable Crowley, double magician souls, a searchable servant abductor mastery, lead to abductor, which leads to souls. So you have searchable draw power in the deck. Uh, engage draws every time, talents draws, chicken game draws. It's ridiculous how powerful this is. Any two spellcaster goes to Crowley with draws. The whole deck just draws, 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 draws. And it draws into cards that just obliterate the opponent. Enemy controller, in my opinion, is the best defensive card in the game right now. No cap. Cards like enemy controller, droplets, and super poly are just next level. Because your opponent's going to sell you you. And then you chain enemy controller. So your card actually resolves. Sell you does not trigger. And you take their card. So it gets rid of three interruptions on its own. On top of that, it stops the fusion from getting destroyed. So it's actually four interruptions. Uh, sorry, three. It stops three interruptions and it makes sure your your pot of greed resolves. That that's like a plus five, bro. <laughs> like enemy control at the right time is absurd. Highly recommend playing it. Engage and all those caster cards. They have so many spell counters to your cards, and you need spell cards. So I'd rather an enemy controller than like an ash blossom. And I play zero hand traps because hand traps literally they suck. I have multiple videos where I just OTK through all that. Like eight, I have a video coming tomorrow where I OTK versus eight hand traps. They're just so weak hand traps. The only hand trap that's worthy is maxi but if maxi is your only hand trap what are you going to draw into when you have 35 cards in hand and you're getting your ass ulti would so maxi is the only hand trap is dog shit but maxi with like 15 hand traps is very good obviously so this is the list hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a full-fledged guide on com full-fledged combo tutorial guide i want very in-depth and specific so you guys even the noobs could know what's going on i hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys in the next video make sure to smash the subscribe button if you got this far pen best deck if the nine negates, ten negates uh, impressed you, you better subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Also, check out TripGaming.com for the best mats and Yu-Gi-Oh! artwork in the game. Peace!